Some man pops who king of YouTube. I was just reading an article. This is a little emergency video or what have you. I was just reading an article um about the space elevator. I've been reading about the space elevator for a couple of years now. Basically, it's a theoretical gadget that they want to use. It's like an elevator that goes to space. It's like a ladder that goes all the way to space. It's an alternative to rocket technology. Now, I'm neither for nor against the space elevator, and I'll tell you why. First of all, I am a techie. I'm, I'm into sci-fi, and I'm into science for real. And I believe in human advancement. I believe in human learning. I believe in traveling to other stars, etc. When I was little, I wanted to be an astronaut. But there's a disturbing parallel between this space ladder or space elevator and something that humans attempted to do during the times of Nimrod thousands of years ago. You see, Nimrod was from a place called Bab El. The word Bab in Semitic languages means door or doorway, Bab. And the word El means God. It was the doorway to the heavens, Bab El. And after the city of Babel was destroyed, the city of Babylon, Babel again, Babylon was built over the ashes of Babel. Uh, there's a lot of stories in the scriptures about this period of time that happened so long ago when Nimrod attempted to build this stairway to heaven, so to speak. The gods, the Elohim came down and confused our languages. They changed our languages up. I don't know, but as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. I'm seeing a lot of strange similarities. Like, let's take another angle. I was watching a YouTube video recently. And on this YouTube video, they were talking about that the real reason for the war in Iraq, you could tell that it wasn't to take Saddam Hussein out of power. Because in strategies of war, you obtain your objective first, which is to overthrow the government or to subdue the government. And then you move on to your next objective. But nothing happened like that in Iraq. After we caught Saddam Hussein, after we hung him from, a, I say we, loosely, because I ain't have shit to do with that, okay? I'm not hanging no foreign leaders, especially people that look like me. Unless you're a savage beast, you know what? Let their people hang them. You know what I'm saying? Let their people put them on tribune and hang them. I will have no parts of shedding the blood of another living being unless totally necessary. Check it, right? We captured Saddam Hussein, we hung him, and we still stayed in Iraq. To fight who? Al-Qaeda and a, a, a bunch of tribesmen running around on camels that can't threaten nobody? No. The reason why we went to Iraq was to loot the Iraqi National Museum. You see, in those museums you got artifacts, trinkets, things that literally have power. Stuff that you find straight out of the in Indiana Jones movie. I mean, like, for instance, the Ark of the Covenant is in the safest place it could be. It was, it's in the country that can't be conquered by any outside forces because in Ethiopia, Habasha, they literally have temples that were carved by the hands of angelic beings. Stones that were cut by no man's hands. So Ethiopia is safe. Mussolini could not destroy the Ethiopians and Haile Selassie and them so what he did was chemical warfare. That's why there was so much starvation in Ethiopia. Because a common campaign that the imperialistic powers would do. If they can't conquer your part of Africa and take the wealth, they just poison the land so that the people will starve to death. And this is the pictures that we see of Africa in the Western Hemisphere. But back to the point. Iraq, the city of Baghdad, is roughly 50 miles from ancient Babylon or Babel. And that land is a mysterious land. You have angels trapped under the desert sand there. This is old scriptures before the Bible, yo. There's literally angelic forces trapped in the desert in Iraq. There's angels. There's hidden scriptures, hidden tomes. There's knowledge. There's prophecies of these days and times. There's gadgets. Yo, in Iraq, if you go to Babylon and Sumeria and all of that, they got drawings on the wall that appear to be airplanes and Apache helicopters. They have ancient maps that could only have been taken from a vantage point high above the planet Earth. 
human society has been destroyed more than once, over and over again. We go through cycles, you know, asteroid showers, diseases, lava flows, whatever. There's always a cycle of destruction and a cycle of rejuvenation. That's why the word Barashit or in Genesis is the book of Genesis is called the recreation because it's not the first creation of man and of human society, but a recreation, just like Adam and Eve were commanded to repopulate the earth. Re meaning do it again. I'm, I'm teaching a bunch of things that are a conglomeration of the things that I've learned over the years. Knowledge is for everybody. We're in the day and time where people are learning. I just wanted to drop on you all that whatever you see going on in Iraq is a sham, that there's more to it than meets the eye. There's a lot of stuff going on there. They're looting ancient artifacts. They're getting a lot of powerful diadems from the deserts of Iraq, which was ancient Babylon, which was Mesopotamia, which was the one of the birthplace of the human race. Um, so there's an eerie similarity between the building, the ziggurat, the rocket ship, the sham, the shems, the sky way, the heavenly gate, the door to L, and this science project that scientists are doing today. You all everything I teach can be verified. You can just look it up. I mean just go to Google. Go to Google. Go to YouTube. Type in all of these keywords. Door to heaven. Um space elevator. It's eerily similar. Like we're bringing down something on ourselves that we don't overstand or understand. But me, I look forward to these days and times because I want to see <clears throat> the end of this system and the beginning of the system of the sun people. We are going into a new sun cycle and you blacks and original beings, you're going to shine now. You know what I'm saying? I mean no disrespect to the white people because you are the children of Obatala and a lot of y'all are actually good people. So for the white people that's good and you have a soul and your pineal gland is working properly, you can roll with me too, but only if your pineal gland is vibrating. If you are Caucasian and your pineal gland is calcified, I have no use for you. You are just better up being chained and led back into the caves. I will not kill you because I'm not a killer. I'm not Hitler. It's ill. I eat meat and Hitler was a vegetarian and he killed like six million Khazars and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So it just goes to show you can't judge nobody. So long story short, this is a call to the children of God. Regardless of the skin color that you in, if you are a child of God, I'm calling you out of the four corners of the world. It's time for the great gathering. We have to get prepared for whatever it is that's coming. Some people believe it's the Messiah. Some people believe it's the Mahdi. Also, Daniel chapter 12 says that in the last days and times, the angel Michael is going to appear and stand up for his people. So I'm looking forward to all of this stuff. And I'm gathering up my people via YouTube, via Twitter, and let me tell y'all something, y'all. I'm going to keep it clear and straight with y'all. I'm a human fleshly man. I fall down, but I get back up. I like the same things you like. You know what I'm saying? I like, I don't have to go into particulars in the videos, but I like the same things you like, okay? And the only thing I don't do is break the laws of the country that I live in. That's it. But beside that, I like everything you like. You know what I'm saying? So don't get on here and judge me and be like, some man Patu is this or that. Yeah, I am this and that. I am. But there's a method to my madness. And I've been given the power of Psalms 45, which is the power of grace, of the tongue, and joy above that of my fellow beings. So peace out. I want to name this video, Stairway to Heaven. And I will just greet y'all, Malongo Yaya. Greetings of the Mother Earth Deity. Peace.